Greenland is the most expensive Nordic country followed by Norway and Denmark. This cucumber costs $4.50 and this Greenlandic coffee costs $25. Welcome to Nuuk! In this video, we will take you around Nuuk, Greenland's capital and largest city. It's home to less than 20,000 people. From transportation, hotels and food, how expensive is Greenland exactly? Does cheap eats exist here? I'm Sean Kalipone, and today we're gonna see how far $100 can take you in the most expensive country in Europe. Let's go. Greenland is part of the Kingdom of Denmark and it's politically linked to Europe. The currency in Greenland is the Danish kroner. This is gonna be a fun and interesting food challenge. Are you ready to go on this adventure? Let's go. We took a taxi from Nuke Airport to our downtown Airbnb, which cost around 25 USD. We found this spacious one bedroom apartment Airbnb for around 140 USD per night off season. And this small downtown basement room in Ilulisat costs almost the same price. Now that we are all set, it's time to start this challenge with coffee. You're here at Cafe Kalatwak. Sorry, how do you say that? Cafe. Cafe Tua. Say that again. Cafe Tua. Cafe Tua. Yes. Okay. You're here at Cafe Tua, and we're gonna get some coffee here. They don't have the Greenlandic coffee we wanted, but they do have polar bear coffee. Earlier, we went to the next door coffee shop, but they didn't sell Greenlandic coffee either. That's because Greenlandic coffee is no ordinary coffee. It's more like an alcoholic dessert with a storytelling experience worth every penny of $25. More about Greenlandic coffee in our next video in Ilulisat. Oh, wow. Now, back to Nuke. The polar bear coffee with the two truffles was 52 kroner, which comes out to almost eight USD. Whew. But it looks good, looks promising, and I can't wait to dive in. I love whipped cream, but let's see how the coffee tastes. Some good strong coffee because I'm awake and I'm gonna dive in a little bit more. Even though Greenland is known for being expensive, this is not more expensive than Starbucks. I mean, the quality is better. They give you a big portion, they give you the two truffles. This is some truffles that came with my polar bear coffee. I mean, I gotta get my 52 kroners worth. It makes this polar bear coffee, along with the truffle, worth the 52 kroner. Next up, we got the most expensive item on this challenge. This entire plate is Greenlandic tapas, so you got a taste of everything, and this looks really interesting. Let's see if it's worth it. 215 kroner, which comes out to almost 30 USD. I'm ready for the first bite. Oh man, first bite is so good. Nice crunchy croissant with the creamy taste on top of this. First one I tried was called Skeldyr med croissant. Directly translated, shellfish with croissant. Shellfish into the single Greenland shrimp. Mm. Oh, there it is. Well, Ransdyr. Smoked reindeer. And we put it on the Danish rye bread. I've never had reindeer in my life. Have you? Uh -huh. This looks promising and we gotta try it. Well, oh, it has a wild taste towards it. That's why they needed the dressing because unless you're a really hardcore eater, that's quite a bit on your taste buds, okay? So I'm glad that they have the dressing and the kraut and the mustard to kind of offset the taste. Just starting our day off randomly with reindeer and Kosan shellfish. And polar bear coffee and meaning all those cute Greenland dickens. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were so One, cute. Two, three. Like and subscribe! Welcome to Nuuuuk! Greenlandic is the official language which all children learn in addition to Danish and English. The kids are really friendly and proud of their culture. 
as they are eager to recommend us Greenlandic dishes. Yeah, it's matek. Matek? Yeah, and then whale skin. The the reindeer. 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 Oh, reindeer. Yes, we have to and also okay. whale skin, it's not cooked. It's, oh. it's raw. Yes, raw whale skin is a delicacy in the Greenlandic culture. But that can be found in the fresh fish market, where hunters and fishermen sell their meat to the locals. We also found both frozen and fresh madak in the grocery store. We'll take you to the fish market later in this video. Now, back to the Greenlandic tapas. This is gulkule, which is the golden ball. Hopefully there's gold in here, but uh, I'm not counting on it. No gold inside, but a cute crispy ball with nice creamy filling. And we really enjoyed the last food items. I had it all at once, and it was really good. Good salmon mousse. Mm. I think it's worth it. You're getting the Greenlandish experience for a fair price, good quality. Obviously, this place is trusted because you have this place filled with all the locals right now. And just letting you know, the water is included too. And Greenlandic water is so fresh and good. Drinking water is completely free, from all cafes to high-end restaurants and the airport. And I think our $100 will go further than expected. We still have more money to spend. So, I'll see you guys soon. I just can't do it without you. I gotta be honest, those green Atlas dishes cost $2.15. It was worth it, it was fulfilling, but I'm still hungry. How about you? <laughs> Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard is the biggest Danish-owned fast food chain. Now we are headed to the only fast food chain restaurant in all of Greenland. There's no McDonald's, 7-Eleven, no Starbucks, but they have their own fast food chain restaurant. I'm still hungry, so let's go check it out. Hello. The kids are so cute here. Let's let's make one already. Hey, 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 yeah, anyhow, let's go. Hopefully they got something similar to like a McDonald's or Starbucks or something that makes me feel like I'm at home. But let's go check it out. Sunset Boulevard. Thank you. Thank you. So I remember when I was younger, I always went to Sunset Boulevard for the fries because they were known to do it healthier than. McDonald's and other places. So we'll order this, the Hereford Barnes. Obviously you wanted the Ben and Jerry's chocolates. So I think that's it. Ooh. Looks like McDonald's to me and Burger King. All this costs 188 Danish kroner, which comes out to 27 to 28 USD. And I can't wait to dive in. In here, every table has a big lap, so we can't avoid it. You would think that this is my aura shining through, but no, it's just a lamp right here. And this burger looks awesome, awesome. It smells better than any fast food chain burger I've had. Dang. The Herford Banese burger. Banese is like a really, really famous sauce in Denmark. Everyone in Denmark loves Banese sauce. It's a classic and it's obviously a classic here in Greenland as well. That is crazy good. Wow. This will replace any fast food chain restaurant back at home in America. Everything is like made like as if it was like at a fancy restaurant. The burger almost tastes like it was grilled to perfection. And the cheese and the bacon just put the indulgence into this burger with the veggies and this crunchy dough on the top. And oh my. Look at all that quality towards it. You can taste the really good dough. And I cannot believe this is at a fast food chain restaurant. Jack in the Box Burger King, you better hope that Sunset Boulevard doesn't come to America. What is your It is a Hawaiian traveler. Are you guys first time here? Yeah, first time here. Uh, yeah, I have that. I gotta say the kids are friendly, <laughs> they're fun to talk to, and they all want to get into YouTube, so it definitely inspires us to keep going. Thank you. Sunset Boulevard is a Danish food chain. They're particularly very famous for their fries. I like fries, I'll just tell you how it tastes like, okay? Ready, go. No. 
That was quite better than your average fries. I mean, it has the seasoning, it's crunchy, and it's not like oily, oily. Obviously, it's not healthy, but look at the seasoning. Growing up, we had many debates whether McDonald's was better than Jack in the Box, whether Michael Jordan was better than Kobe Bryant, whether NSYNC was better or Backstreet. And at home, we wonder if Hogan Dogs is better than Ben and Jerry's. And I tell you, I'm a big fan of Ben and Jerry's, and I could not believe they had the Ben and Jerry's fudge brownie chocolate milkshake. Oh my gosh. I gotta say it was worth it because this fed both of us. It is pretty worth it. And if you keep in track, we're at 455 Kona right now. So we're almost near 100 USD. I think we need to take a break and do a small little adventure. So right now we are heading to Nook Center and inside of Nook Center is a grocery store. So there are a lot of Danish goods inside but I'm sure we can find some exclusive items in Greenland as well. <laughs> How are you? We're actually vlogging. And you got the similar shirts. <laughs> Funny story. Yesterday we met our new friends here. We were all stuck at the Kanker Lusiak airport together. They just canceled our flight from Kanker Lusiak to Nuuk just now. Well, they canceled all the flights for today. I had to spend a night at this dorm. The bus driver did say that this is uh, Greenland time. So it's part of the journey. We learned that Greenland has so many cancellations. Some locals call them maybe airlines. The flight depends on the weather, but hey, Air Greenland does make sure you get a free food coupon and place to sleep. There are only two ways to get to Greenland, via Copenhagen, Denmark, or Reykjavik, Iceland. And because Air Greenland is a monopoly, the flights are more expensive than the usual price. But we booked the fly and sleep tickets with a long layover in Kanker Lusiak for a cheaper price. And as for transportation, you don't have to rent a car. Most things are in walking distance. And if it's not, there's always a taxi nearby for a reasonable price. I knew what to show them all the time. You said I can't do it. That was nice to see Mons and Sasha. We were just with them in Kangarlusek. We are here at the Pacific. Let me know in the comment section down below if I said Pacific correct. That's how the way you say it. Let's go in. 26 kronos for 8 apples. It ain't cheap, but it's alright. All the chocolates are Danish. Top chocolate. A lot of Danish items like the chips over here. If you ever come to Greenland and Denmark, these are the best. Here we are with the Royal Greenland product of their luxury prawns. And when I think about the words Royal Greenland, I think about two things. High quality and Expensive. It's gotta be really good. And this costs 200 kroner, which comes out to around 28 USD. Not bad. This is kind of almost the same price back at home. The Disco Bay Royal Greenland Pro. All I know is that we're heading into the area of Disco Bay at Elusia and we can't wait. Elusiat means the iceberg. The city of ice is remarkable. In the next video, we will show you the beauty of Ilulisat, Disco Bay, and Greenlandic food. Now, back to Newt. Now we're going to the Delhi area, and that's the fun part, so let's go. The Delhi area is actually awesome. And this looks healthy and good. Some of the chicken and pasta and lettuce. This comes out to 40 kroner. Not bad. And most of the prices are decent. I'm actually really surprised with the deli. Three pieces of rye bread, smurple for 45 kroner. That's not bad at all. It's not too bad. They have sushi as well. Oh, the sushi is 189 kroner. That is actually expensive. The small one is 55 kroner. I really think that sushi is super expensive here in Greenland. Eight fifty USD. 
That's a little bit for 850 USD, but maybe it's really high quality and rare. These are not to be found in Danish grocery stores, so I think this is a really special section right here. Dried fish, fish fillets ready to eat. Oh, look at this. It's all kind of Icelandic or the Faroe Island. That is so cool. We need to fit something small into our budget, and I'm up to try anything that I can't get back at home, so let's try it. Is some of the Danish eggs for 37 kroner, which comes out to around a little over five USD. I came here that everything was really, really expensive here in Greenland, but not everything really is. And this is what I want. Look at that. I'm paying this belly stain right now. This is like walking into a Danish bakery with mostly Danish pastries. Bomb cooler, Spendauer, Pulsehorn, which is sausage and bread and the prices are not too crazy. While waiting in line, Pacific is conveniently located inside of Nuke Center. But Bruxini is also one of Greenland's largest supermarket chains. Let's go in. We love the deli in Bruxini, even though a cucumber costs $4.50. I will not buy a cucumber in Greenland. Some very expensive items we found are veggies and alcohol in particular. Thank you. Cool. Let's sit down. Look at that. That is crazy. 70 kroner. Comes out to around 10 USD. I think we're just gonna take a big bite. We're gonna cut it up with our teeth. One, two, three. Oh, that is sweet. They didn't hold back at all. I mean, the whipped cream is thick, the custard inside is thick, the jam they put a lot into it, the sprinkles, just the presentation, and the red velvet specks on top. Everything is quite amazing. So I had to get this because it was only 10 kroner. This looks like an Oreo donut. This tastes like what an Oreo should taste like in a donut form. I mean, it's not the most rich tasting, but it's pretty good. Definitely worth 10 kroner. What's your name? Leah. Leah? Nice to meet you, Leah. Is the bobo good over here? Yeah. I saw that they have a bubble tea place right across the Duke Center. Is that good? I want to say thank you. Thank you for your recommendation. <laughs> Before we get some boba tea, let's visit a very unique place in Nuuk. So right now we're going to the market and inside there they sell whale, bird, reindeer. While this might not be everyone's idea of dining, please keep in mind they've been eating this for centuries. Greenland's most traditional dishes tell a story about survival, harsh climates, and rough land. The food is iconic as the Inuit culture itself. So I just want to have an open mind. I hope you keep an open mind too. This is quite breathtaking. I mean, they have the whale meat here. Greenland is home to very unique foods. Many locals still take great pride in catching their own dinner. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it's gotta be a deer, seal, one of those items. And I know that this is bird. Wow. And it shows that they do sell over here, whether it's whale, reindeer, seals, polar bear. It's quite breathtaking, you gotta be open-minded. This is part of the tour, I just wanted to show you guys that this is part of their lifestyle. We were told to stop filming, but they let us go for a long time in there. I mean, they're pretty nice. Coming from Hawaii, it's very hard for me to see because whales and seals are sacred. But here in Greenland, I respect the culture and I'm very glad to have seen it up close and to show it to you guys. And let's go get some boba tea because I could go for that right now. <laughs> let's go. The bubble tea house, authentic boba tea. 
authentic boba tea in Greenland. I gotta see that for myself. It says that these bowls, which are Asian bowls, where there's chicken teriyaki with rice, it costs 35 kroner. It is true, each bowl does cost 35 kroner. So I think it's only right that we get a bowl and we get a boba tea. We get a bowl and a boba tea. A boba tea and a bowl. Coming in at 59 kroner, which is approximately 8.50 USD. We're gonna have some ube makapuno boba tea. It's a really good ube boba right here. Cushy inside, but the drink in itself is quite silky and creamy. Cold enough, good enough, and definitely worth 59 kroner. Next up, we were in disbelief to find this bowl for 35 kroner. I have to say, this surpasses the price a hundred percent. So generous with all the meat, with all the rice and vegetable. I think the food and the boba is quite cheap because this is not their only selling point. The salon right next door is, and this is some cheap eats in Greenland. Yesterday, I thought there was no such thing, but there is. It was good, we're quite happy. Now, off to the next place. Oh, and it's the final place too. So, let's go. <laughs> Just in time for this beautiful sunset. Before we visit our last spot, we still need to try the dried fish. Whew. This snack is crunchy, flaky, very powerful in taste, and quite fishy. Well, it is fish, but you can taste all the fish flavor in a snack form. Mm. It's a good snack, and it was worth the 60 kroner we paid for it. Now, we're gonna enjoy the rest of the sunset before it goes completely down. Final stop is Cafe Esmeralda, a popular cafe among locals due to big portions for a fair price. We went here earlier and can agree that the portions are big indeed. Now coming back around dinner time to finish the challenge. Cafe Esmeralda is quite packed inside. I mean, this is the place that was recommended. It's busy, the food is good, and I heard that they have it for decent prices. So obviously it's packed for that reason. It's always a good sign when there are a bunch of locals in one place. It's good to be here during evening time and we thought we we're gonna end the night today with dessert. Oh, thank you. We have vanilla ice cream, macaroons, red berry, and blueberry. And this costs 85 kroner, which comes up to 12 USD. Let me get some of that berry in here. This is a little bit more sugary than usual. I don't complain because I have a sweet tooth. I think it's worth it. It's a good way to end the night off. I want to say a big thank you for watching this whole entire video on the $100 challenge in the beautiful city of Duke. It was quite an eventful day with all the food, meeting all the people. The question is, did we pass $100? And to tally up all the numbers right now, Yes, we did. We passed it by 74 kroner. I passed it, but who cares? I wanted to show you guys the good food, some of the cheap eats here, because there are cheap eats. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and comment down below. Follow me at Hawaiian Traveler on Instagram. That's located down below. And I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Aloha. I don't even, you know what? I don't even care about this budget. I'm getting this belly staying right now. Okay. Yep. And, and, and study hard. Okay. Skip school. Yeah, skip school. Real quick, are these bowls cost 35 kroner? Yes, it is. Every single one of them? Yes. We have. Uh... Can I film? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Can I film you too? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thanks guys, appreciate it. Thank you.